Oh, oh gee, baby. <laughs> I think I scared Scott Bale. You did. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you've got you've got some things coming up. Yes, and I do. We want to we want to start by talking about that because you do you play golf? Is that why I you're play doing a lot of golf? You do. Play a ton. I play every day. Uh, oh my gosh! Eric. My handicap probably. I'm, I'm, I'm probably single digits at this point. Wow. Yeah. Really? I, if on a good day, you must but be I strong but game. I, but Is that I a pitch and putt? <laughs> yes, Kennedy. It's <laughs> a pitch and putt. <laughs> No, well, I, I can, oh, I can blow up like anybody and just go completely <laughs> off the rails. All right, so you're a pro because that's not, how the not, pros I do I wish it. I was a pro. If I was a pro, yeah. I'd be very happy. What's the key to golf? Like the when you see someone like Ernie Els and, and Jordan Spieth just come unhinged, what goes through your mind? The key? Oh, what go, oh concentration. Yeah. That's it. Concentration really? and tempo and posture. So I would be fabulous if I could play. What? I have those Are things. You no, I'm terrible. Oh, no. I'm terrible at It's calm. a very frustrating game. Yeah. Very, very frustrating. I think you have to practice, too. You can't yeah. just, like, pick it up every once my in a while. So my type my little girl, like, who's eight, is actually an amazing golfer. She's so oh, cute. Hi, Bailey. Yeah. She's, she's really good. Yeah, we should mention your families here in the studio. They yes, were they quiet are. as church mice during the hour. Yes, it was amazing. Well, they've been around the business now for yeah. 10 years. So you've got this golf tournament coming up. Tell us about it. Uh, yes, it's called the Bailey Bayo Angel foundation.com but it's the Bailey Bayo Angel Golf Tournament because our daughter was falsely diagnosed with a very rare metabolic or meta, very rare metabolic disorder when she was born mm. and um, very bad stuff would have happened if she had had it but she did not thank God she had a false positive she had a false, a series yes, of them right? right I read about that. Uh, and so um, I, well it took us three months to find out uh, that she was okay and during those three months it was just uh, Horrible. It's terrifying. Uh, and anyway, so after that, we, my wife decided to start this, uh, this uh, foundation because it was a, although I, I knew what the words metabolic meant and I know mm -hmm. what the word disorder means, I didn't put them together. I didn't know kind of what that meant. And there was a lot of families out there that are affected by metabolic mm -hmm. disorders, but it wasn't, I, I use this expression, it wasn't a sexy sort of disease, mm -hmm. so nobody really knew about it. But so she started this thing to give voice to these people and she lobbies Washington to get. Uh, uh, newborn screening tests mm -hmm. expanded so you can catch these this, if you catch these disor disorders early enough mm -hmm. you can your the, the quality of life is so much better for mm -hmm. the child and, so and look how much it impacted you I mean in those three months where you guys <laughs> you know thought Horrible. that your daughter's life is going to go yeah. so differently yeah I don't talk about it all that much because it's 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 very very difficult yeah. it was very difficult but you know I'm here to I, I'm, I'm I want to raise enough money as I can for it so that's so ad admirable because what you went through, your personal struggle with your family and now your wife's devotion to this cause, you're helping families, reaching out, creating awareness, you know, using your position to be able to do that greater good. It's interesting how things happen in life, right? That you went through this, you thought that she had it, thank God she didn't, but it still put you in that place, in that position, and now you're able to... But Kimberly, can't believe that wasn't enough for me because yeah. what happened was when we got the all clear, which is a which and I, I, I the story will take an hour. I'm not going to tell you, but when we got the all clear, I was done. I'm like, whoo, party time. <laughs> my kid's healthy. I'm fine. And I walked by uh, uh, my the, the baby's bedroom. My wife was sitting there looking so somber. And I went, what are you doing? And she said, I have to help these people. Yes. Oh, wow. And I said, you know what people I'm you know, I, what are you talking about I knew what she was doing but I, I didn't quite understand she said, these people that I'm talking to online since we found out about all this mm. and uh, so she 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 started it and, I, and of course I, it was the right thing to do that's incredibly Fantastic. incredibly admirable because I think a lot of people in your shoes would have said okay not my problem anymore mm. I'm out yeah and you know, fact that your listen, wife did I that say this amazing. about my yeah. wife. She's the rightest person I know <laughs> she does the right thing and, and 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 I you know it's it's a rare thing for me to be around because I I'm a screw up basically <laughs> you know I try to slide on everything. No screwing oh. up is, screwing up is back in college having one too many drinks and doing karaoke. I didn't the, do that. I was I was making a Charles in charge theme song because I somebody on this couch has done that. <laughs> for the record. <laughs> I don't know who that Still. would be. Anyway, Still, we're and probably would we'll do it again uh, tomorrow. That's in September, so we wish <laughs> yeah. September 26th at the Woodland Hills Country Club. Yeah, yes. that sounds like Please fun. come out. Come on, Kennedy, Williams. Williams. let's go. Uh, do, I talk, do I talk oh, to Willie Ames? I don't play golf. I, got, I play golf shop. But you I, I'll donate. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, you, please, I'll, you know, go on the website. or, or you, I'll give you our number. You're more than happy to. We uh, would love it. I talked to I talked to Willie. He's invited. Yeah, what's Willie Ames doing? I talked to Willie. He he's he works on a very large... Very expensive cruise uh, nice. ship. He's the hmm. 
He's one of the higher up officers on the How about that? Well done. Oh, wow. Wow. Pull he married a girl from Canada, lives up in Vancouver. Wow. Yeah. How about that? See, he left the country right. before Donald Trump was he left elected. <laughs> Doll right. Lady 2, I want to get some of our live chat in. Doll Lady 2 says, absolutely agree with everything Scott said. Scott for VP. I'm going to read these oh. randomly. Have you been contacted by the vetting committee? Has Dr. I didn't ben want to Carson? tell you guys, but <laughs> yes, it's sort of under the radar. Yeah. The Washington um, Post is spending another 20 reporters actually on Sky Bailey during his bed. <laughs> exactly. <right now>. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be waiting outside. <laughs> Five Darlene words right B. out there. Bennett, Darlene B. Bennett. Scott Bayo, one of my all-time favorites since the 1970s. Oops, showing my age. XOXO. <laughs> uh, Canadian Reject, which I don't think is his real name. This guy on the live chat. I don't right? think so. Okay. Harris, they're Bring not getting anything Charles past you. Charge. <laughs> Would you ever want to revisit the show? I, I don't know. Um, you know, somebody had talked about it. My agent. My husband loved Nicole Eggert. Uh, yeah. What's yeah. not to love? <laughs> oh, so. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Moving on. Um, mm. um, I don't know. Somebody had talked about it and pitched an idea to us. I, I just like don't know on how Netflix, you. Like how do you go Fuller back? House? Yeah. Uh, kind of. Charles still. I have in a charge. question. I have a. I have a. Do I don't you, know. I mean, I. I don't know. I'm, I. I'd certainly. It'd be, be weird kind of if fun. you were a nanny at your age. No, I would be the parent of the. I would hire the nanny. <laughs> I have a. Question. Question. What's up with the family flip? It was a whole different yeah. family in the beginning, and then you guys went to different. Julie, that's family. a very good question. It is wow. an excellent question. I wondered about for 25 years. Is that a Taft Hartley <laughs> issue? No. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I no, know. it wasn't. T- you don't even know. What I Taft know Hartley the poor is. guy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Um, no, here's what it, here's what happened. I'm dying. The, the network version of the show, right. where they had one family, and for some reason, when it went into first run syndication, they decided to boot everybody. Oh no! I had nothing to do with it. Right. They said we're going to recast everybody. I went, how much are you paying me? And I, they said X. I went, okay, that's good. Do you think it's everybody. creepy to have you be in charge oh of somebody's God. nights when there are two girls, teenage girls there, and you're the nanny? Now? Yeah. yeah. Back then, no. That was the All 80s. Right. All right. Yeah, that was a creepy. Like people were is you, decent. As you can tell, I've spent 25 years considering Charles in charge and all its nuances. Well, you know what I love about the show? Yeah. Like you can close the loop on those <laughs> open questions that you've held for I don't have a nanny. I was, no. you know, so a nanny? No. Oh, a man, I would have, well, you know, when somebody sets the template like Charles in charge, it's hard to find. It's hard to, yeah. It's a hard make too. It's a hard Okay, Country Princess 7. Loving yet firm, manly yet still intuitive. Right. Country on, Princess Scott. 7 says, I really That's enjoyed me. your show today. <laughs> it was nice to hear Scott's views on Trump and the Republican Party. It's exactly how we feel here in my household. Nice. I don't know where she's writing from. Do you think that um, you've been ostracized at all because of your political views in Hollywood? No. Why not? Because a lot of Because I make money for people. Oh, well, well done. Ooh. EFF. Drop that mic. No. <laughs> Drop it. No, I, I've, I've always worked and I've always been known to be conservative. Yeah. And, and, and I'll tell you the truth right now, I just don't give a damn. Hmm. You don't want to hire me anymore for this. I really don't care because I, my country is number one for me. Mm. And I, and I got to save it any way that I can. Fantastic. We, we broke the chat. I'm not kidding. We got like oh 7,500 people. <laughs> we broke the chat. This is just oh, light terrorist. Like, right cannot so believe. It's, it's almost as good as, as the so country. Here's my question for server. you, though. I, I mean, it seems <laughs> like the Henry. number of conservatives <laughs> who are open about it in Hollywood is growing. Is that just a perception or, or is that I reality? hope so. Um, here's the thing, Harris, and, I, and, I, and uh, this is the absolute truth. More people are conservative in Hollywood than you think. They will oh, not say the word so Republican no. because they think it's a bad, a, a, it's, it's like calling them a, a racial slur. Why is that? Um, because the media has successfully and the liberals have so successfully demonized, yeah. demonized it and, and branded it as something bad. But every time I get to somebody who's who's uh, most of the time I get to somebody who's a liberal and, and a staunch liberal, I ask them a bunch of questions and they agree with me. I say, but you're thinking just like me. Why are you, why right. are you a Democrat? Yeah. Maybe you should oh, no, be a I'm liberal not. then. Maybe, Maybe you're thinking be. like us. Maybe you should be a liberal. Oh, so, okay, so here's, here's where I'm... Julie, that's very good. Thank you. I wish I had a good comeback for it. That's Julie that's, Jitsu. That's political jujitsu. Very Thank good. Thank you very much. So here's, my, here's where I'm going with this. You know, obviously, <laughs> here's from, what, <laughs> from what we've seen, I mean, I know Ted Cruz says if he wins another state, he might unsuspend his campaign, but I don't think what? he was serious. Right? Oh, no, that's what he told Glenn Beck. That's what he told Glenn Beck. We Glenn don't know Beck. that he was serious, but yeah. he said it. Anyway, Lord. he was pressed. I think he was Glenn, like, Glenn asked Beck. him like five times. Like, he's probably just, okay, I give up. Glenn's yes, crying and starving. But California's <laughs> coming up. And, you know, Donald Trump is yet to get the 1237. He, Manafort, Paul Manafort, who's handling the delegate count and all of that, says they're going to get to 1400, no problems. Mm-hmm. But I'm curious to see what California could look like. Could that be a state that those conservatives in Hollywood who've been kind of on the down low could step up and help put into play in a general are there that many no 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 okay <laughs> no. 
No. Mm-mm. That's yeah. an honest answer. Good try. You, you, okay. Listen, you're, you're dealing with a, a, a huge minority population, mm-hmm. and, at, and at a certain point, I just I just wish the minority, the, the, the Mexicans that are there or the, whatever, whatever, whatever Hispanic uh, descent they are, would would uh, would realize that they are owned by the Democrat Party. And I, and I wouldn't want to be owned by anybody. Uh, and, you know, I, and I, I sit around, smoke cigars. with My buddies, we talk about this kind of stuff. And to me, that's sort of a, a, a form of slavery. I'm going to give you just enough to to give you a cell phone and a, maybe a plasma and i'm going to give you enough just to shut you up and get your vote you're going to stay where you are i'm going to put you in this box here you're hispanic and you're going to stay there and that's what they do and and the hispanic community and 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 to the and, and the larger uh, even even more so the black community has to realize at some point you know what guys it's it's about it's about uh, stop me if I'm boring you. No, no, no. It's we very easy finish. to become an American, mm-hmm. you, but you have to know what it means to be an American. Mm-hmm. You can't just come to this country and turn this country into the country that you're running away from. You can't just come here and want stuff. You got to work hard. You got to break your back. You got to. You got to be an individual. And they do. And, and, and a lot, yeah, no, they, they do. do. But but they but they vote for the people that don't want them to get ahead in my opinion. And I know what he's saying, because when you look at it, the whole argument has been when you to support like a, a Republican or you know GOP candidate, because when you look at the past eight years, African-Americans, Latino community are not better off. The middle class is not better off. Well, not and just the last Jobs, eight years. Uh, the Longer economy, that, all of that. Community. So that's I mean, why I want more, demand more. I want we everybody to work. I want everybody I want to, everyone to be rich. I want everyone to we, be Carlos Slim. It's been the last 40 the years, actually. people in this country, Mexican people of color, who are out of work. And yeah. that just is not right. only eight years old, so it's and it's, it's going to get worse. No, I'm not blaming the Obama. I'm, just, I'm, blaming, I'm blaming. I'm blaming the Democrat Party to be. Wow, I wish we had another 20 blame minutes of this. Oh, well, you guys can go out to we'll lunch down right now. We're <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to get out of here, everybody. Scott Bayo, thank you. You are the deep into the ocean, my friend. It was great to have you. Thank you. Yes, yes. What a pleasure. Take care. What does that mean?